Generating high-quality lifelike images and animations is a critical capability that can be used to communicate your designs to others. PhotoView 360 gives you the ability to see 3D models as they would appear in real life and there are several enhancements for SOLIDWORKS 2016. First, the preview window provides a quick real-time reference as to how your render will look and allows you to quickly assess changes before performing the final render. The preview window has been enhanced to include a resolution slider at the bottom to replace the extended refinement option. Sliding it to the right gives a higher quality render preview with the trade-off of taking a bit more time. In the past, there were instances where the pause button would reset. This is no longer the case. Now if the pause button is pressed, the preview window will not render, period. You can see as we rotate the model or add appearances, the preview is static. Let's undo the change and reset the preview window. Now the preview window has always been a valuable tool to visualize the render when changing the scene. For instance, we can manipulate the background and rendering brightness and see the effect in the preview window. We can also rotate the environment, which changes how the reflections fall on the model, but it's a bit of an iterative process. A new tool introduced for SOLIDWORKS 2016 is the Scene Illumination Proof Sheet. Upon activation, PhotoView 360 composites the rendering brightness, scene brightness, and the scene reflectivity into a concise layout where each tile represents a different setting for your primary PhotoView 360 lighting. An increment slider allows you to bump the increment to see larger variations. Choosing one of the tiles resets the others to make that tile the baseline, and you can continue to make selections to get your desired result. At any point, you can toggle between the current selection and the original image. Tooltips are available to provide precise values for the settings. The position of the lights can be visualized and manipulated as well. These tiles control the rotation of the HDR environment and is also controlled by the increment. Selecting one of these tiles changes the environment rotation and recalculates this as the baseline. When you're satisfied with the result, hit OK and these settings will be pushed back into the PhotoView 360 scene and you're ready for your final render. Another great enhancement is the ability to include motion blur in your animations and renderings to simulate the dynamic blurring effect from moving parts. With this simple flyball governor, SOLIDWORKS Motion was used to apply a motor to spin the shaft and a spring to regulate the movement of the brass yoke. First, we'll take a look at how to render this as an AVI with Motion Blur. Select the new option that has been added for Motion Blur. Blur Length controls the length of the blur, and the Blur Offset allows you to offset the position of the blur. Since this rendering can take some time, we'll cancel this and show you a finished movie. Now that's a much more realistic animation. Another approach is to include motion blur in still renderings. For this, you position the animation where you want to perform the rendering. And when you hit the final render button, you're prompted to include the motion blur. Tweak the settings and PhotoView 360 will render your model with motion blur to give you that real life look that is sure to impress your customers. Creating high quality lifelike images and animations has never been easier than with SOLIDWORKS 2016.